YouTube. What's going on? How are we? I am great, thanks for asking me. Um, listen, it's been a while since I've done a video. Look how, fa how fat my face is compared to the last video I uploaded. Um, last video we did was six days pre-shoot. I'm now approaching two months post-shoot. Shoot went well, very well. A few things, a few minor things that I wasn't too happy with, but that's down to my own fucking doing. But I was very happy with it. The pictures came out well. Maybe I'll try and upload a couple here, but most of you would have already seen them and got bored of them. And I don't look like that now. So I ain't trying to be no catfish out here, really. Um, a lot's gone on in the past couple of months, so it's been very tough to really do any content. I have tried about 15 times. I've started videos and I'm not really seen them through because it's been really busy. And that's not an exaggeration. It's been genuinely the busiest month of my life. And I couldn't be more thankful for that. I've already thanked people a hundred times and I'll say it one more time. Thank you very much for everybody that supported the gym. Very much appreciate it. That being said, you know, this is just a little video to reintroduce the, to the, reintroduce anybody to the channel again. I'm about to be more consistent. I'm going to upload once a week for anybody that cares. Um, I'm going to try and do twice a week actually, but we'll see. Um, we'll start once a week. I'll show you the gym, the new layout in there now. A few changes we've made since rebranding. You know, we've gone from what the previous brand we were before to now Elevate Fitness, which I'm very happy with. Um, it's gone down a treat with people. People have really... I can't say really enjoyed the branding because how do you enjoy a branding but they've been very complimentary and they love it so I love it and the guys that support me love it so I'm very happy with it. On that note, let's go in the gym and see what the crack is. Lovely. Right, we'll have a little look round shall we quick. Dumbbells, same, benches. I didn't put my bar away today. There's me telling people off and I'll just leave it there. Shock. So yeah, dumbbells, mirror, same old, same old. Now the Arnie Payton, there's no branding here. That's getting done at the end of February, but the old branding is gone. Hopefully you can't see it. If you can, I'm gonna do this so you can't, but we have painted over it and the new branding will be put up soon. Um, these machines kind of stay where they were. Nitro row, nitro pull down, calf raise. Now this side of things is kind of not really changed. Bench stays there. Some more nitro bits here. Bicep curl, tricep, chest press. Cable station. Some new tripods for the gym. Same old. Now we did a little switch around here. I was meant to move this this weekend as well, but I haven't bothered. I'll do it this week. So, <laughs> Smith machine's been moved there. We've moved the chest and shoulder press here. However, practically that shoulder press isn't going to stay there. So I'm going to put the shoulder press either here um, and that chest press there, or the Sarbex row that's coming this week, we'll go there. But for now, that's how it is, excuse me. And the biggest change, really, all this is the same, there's no Red Astro anymore. So some of your members will know that I did actually manage to get the Sarbex row, but it was there for the past like month or so, but however, I found a cleaner version for a better price. So I flipped mine for a profit and got a better version coming this week. So yeah. Anyway, Astro was down here, but we've obviously completely matted it. I wanted to do away with the, the red branding. I didn't want any association with what was previous. Um, I kind of wanted it to feel brand new. Um, I wanted to feel like I was opening a gym for the first time again. So it needed to create more space. It's a bit messy down here. It's been a busy week and I haven't had a chance to tidy it, but tomorrow is a bit of a tidy day. We've got the gray track there. The good thing about it is this, this middle piece now is not limited to astro space. It can be used for anything. So it's gone down a treat and uh, the members have loved it. Um, have I got a new kit? Nothing crazy, really. Um, I was really buzzing to get this. I mean, it's, it has, it's been heavily used, but it's a Cybex leg extension um, and the movement on it is amazing. Um, it was a bit more worn than I thought, but for an agent, for a kit, this, this a kit of this age it's gonna be. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic piece and it's gone down a treat. What else? I think I might have shown this before. Got that. And obviously the Cybex Road was there, but that left yesterday. Got collected yesterday. No, Friday. Um, so my new one should come this week. I'm going to miss it until it's here because I worked very hard to get it. And that's it, really. 
Uh, we have Tom Fitch in, obviously, to do the painting up there, the new branding up there, and then the Feb, but on the same time, we're gonna have some artwork done up there because there was a sign up there, and now it kind of looks a bit vacant. So I'm excited to get him up there painting. And as you can see, the gym needs a bit of a tidy. Um, so that's it, really. Um, I keep saying that, um, don't I? But listen, it's been, in the gym, it's been a phenomenal month and it's been overwhelming at times, but it's been phenomenal. Like, I can't tell you. And since rebranded to my own brand, look at the hat matches the branding. It's just great. Um, also, these sport racks will change color eventually. But we're gonna do that slowly. There's no rush to do that. Um, yeah, I keep saying um, but I, I, you know, what can I say? It's been crazy. We're mid-February, coming up to mid-February. It's not even mid-February, is it? First week of Feb, Jason. Um, and it, it's just been a, it's just been a whirlwind, and I couldn't be happier. I thought I'd set the scene for this conversation with a camera. Um, so just an update, really, with with things. So obviously, I've been very quiet in regards to doing this content. I've, I love doing these videos, but. With everything that's gone on over the past couple of months, I haven't had a lot to say. Um, I haven't had anything positive to say. Well, so it, it was it was tough. You know, the rebound story, there is no story. There is no story. The, we just, we've just rebranded and that's it. <laughs> yeah, we just rebranded and that's it. Um, you know, back in the last year, just, just going following on from what I spoke about earlier in the video. Um, fucking, it was tough, mate. It was, at, it was rough. The roughest time that I've ever felt, to be honest with you. Um, with, with this going on, the way that was handled, the, the way things in my personal life were being handled, like everything was just tough. But I got through it, and I feel like we're definitely on the other end of it now. You know, I had, I had a lot of big goals for the gym when I first opened. These big dreams of mine, I want the mezzanine floor in here. I want this gym to be larger than it is now. I want it to be the best equipped gym locally. I, I, that's what I want. That's where my passion is. And you know, come November time, I was very much thinking to myself, nah mate, it's just, your goals are just too big. It's never gonna happen here. So I had to readjust, but then I also, for December, with, with personal things that I had going on and business things that we had going on, I just cr I just crumbled under the pressure and I did pretty much crumble to nothing near enough. And I didn't know how to manage it, I didn't manage it, and it reflected in my work, it reflected in how I was here. As much as I was trying to be, you know, try to be as normal as I always have been, as happy as I have been, it was the hardest time. But now, coming full circle, you know, the business is in the best place it's ever been at. People are enjoying training here more than ever. And then goals that I set all that time ago, that multiple times I was told it's just not gonna happen. But I don't want it to be one of these things that, oh, everyone said you couldn't do it type thing. Because they didn't, <laughs> they didn't. I had a few that did, but not everyone. But they are now, they feel more achievable than ever. And I couldn't be more driven than ever. And now I want to continue doing things like this while growing this. Um, so the support that I have has been immense. And there's many people that have helped me get to this point with the gym, you know, personal situations aside, you know, if it, wasn't, it wouldn't have been possible without, without Emma or without my parents helping me like they have um, to get this place where it's at and ultimately I'm here every day making sure that I'm helping as many people as I can make them feel welcome warm welcome when they walk in the door if they need help with anything I'm here if they need anything I'm here and I think people have started to understand what I'm trying to build here and hopefully it continues going into this year by the end of this year some of these goals that I've set may just be, be a reality it feels that way anyway so that's kind of an update for me really i've rambled on and none of it makes any sense probably 
it just felt like maybe I needed to talk about it to, to the camera and just we'll just upload it. This is just a reintroduction to the channel anyway. Where I've been, that's where I've been. I've been here. <laughs> I've been here working my ass off, to be honest with you. Um, post breakdown and all. And uh, it's all looking, looking good. It's looking good. I thank every single one of you for supporting it. And on we go. So, in regards to content, I've got a bit coming up now. So, with Mike, we've changed our plan. Obviously, I'm in a growing phase now. Um, I'm back on cycle now, so we'll talk about that in my next video. We'll look at my new training structure. We'll get some training footage. Um, I'm going to look to train in multiple gyms over the coming months just to kind of get some inspiration. I trained at Musique Evolution yesterday. Fantastic place in Derby. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to try and be as consistent and make content that's watchable. This is not watchable more than likely. But if you have watched it, I appreciate you. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you to everyone so far that has supported me so far. I appreciate you more than anything. On to 2022.